Because what I want your minds to be is on the metric modulation that occurs here rather than worry about what notes to sing or what words to say. Yeah. And, and Scott, what you have to feel is the constant quarter pulse that now becomes uh, the interior of the in mind not. See, in practicing this, I've recognized I didn't do it fast enough, Seven, and I didn't uh, feel the, the, the correct right. half note until like <coughs> 73 is when it kind of rounded itself out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, 66. in this uh, <laughs> stuff tempo section. First of all, what's the mode? He's playing with modes throughout this whole oh thing. Well, no. Starts with an elbow. It's a low green mode. Because you find the tenor part really right. sort of sends it through the roof. It's kind of crazy. Wait, wait, where are you? Talking? Right at the uh, bar of 69. Okay. And who is the most important instrument throughout this slow, quote unquote, slow section? It's trumpet. Yep. 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 It says solo. Oh, the solo. Right. Anytime you have solo written in your score, that's a good opportunity to circle that part. Yeah. <laughs> so that part's going to come out of the texture. So, can you conduct a figure seven and articulate the trumpet rhythm? <laughs> In two, and yeah. In two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but look at it. Look at it carefully, because here is the here is the trick. If you're feeling interior quarter beats, it's very easy. One and two and ba bee ba ba bee ba boom. But if you're just feeling one, two, one. Two, then you're just looking at lots of fast notes inside. You have a yeah. in your panel? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so right on seven? Yeah. So you start with the choir. I just lost what it's that. So everybody has to practice articulating the trumpet part through this slow section when you're feeling it in two. <sighs> These are the kinds of challenges that exist in instrumental music that don't often exist in choral music. More subdivisions. More rhythmic subdivisions. Yeah. More rhythmic subdivisions. <clears throat> it's sort of like uh, uh, when you travel to another country with a foreign language and you don't speak that language, or you speak a little bit of it, 
and the first few days that you're there are just exhausting. You sleep like a baby even when you're jet lagged because your brain is constantly like, what is that sign saying? What's that person saying? I don't understand. Like, how do I speak to the cab? How do I go to the bathroom? It's just like, I mean, it's kind of like going to this Masters of Music A hole in the world where it's struggling to speak the language. That was good, Scott. <laughs> now, when you come to figure eight, <laughs> uh, and you come back into four, you go from forte to piano in eight and a half. Mm. And this is where I really urge you to play with the size of your gesture. Everybody, I just don't mean you, Scott. For the mother's entreaties. Shut up. Take Eve and her tresses to shake the dead where they lie awaiting the hurt. Versus, da 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 Gotta play it all back and forth because you go from forte to fortissimo in matters of just a few beats. So in this section, it's the Yeah. What are, you, how, what are you envisioning in this slow section, Scott? Paratroopers. Paratroopers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, uh, to me, I have you all seen uh, the movie Save Saving Private Ryan? Yep. Mm -hmm. The first 20 minutes where it's the battle scene in, in Normandy. Mm -hmm. Beach. Mm -hmm. And there's that scene where uh, Tom Hanks gets shell shocked, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden everything goes into slow motion, mm -hmm. and it's like the sound cuts out. Mm -hmm. This this is. This whole poem is a depiction of a, a war battle, a civil war battle. It's Whitman's response to the Civil War and the, and the fruitlessness, just the total folly of, of war. Mm -hmm. And was it the American Civil War? Yeah, the American mm -hmm. Civil War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, British composer, American poet. In fact, Bon Williams sets a lot of Whitman's text mm -hmm. and was a huge fan of the transcendentalist movement. So I hear this middle section, and I imagine that slow motion shell shock part of, of Saving Private Ryan, where it's like in the heat of battle, you faintly hear this trumpet. It doesn't make any sense because the whole choir is moving. Mind not the timid, mind not the weeper or prayer, mind not the old man beseeching the young man, mind not the the mother's entreaties. I mean, all of the most um, gentle aspects of life just run roughshod over all of that. Mm -hmm. How long is this total piece? Yeah. Uh, about 40 minutes. 40 the minutes entire piece. piece? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So all of a sudden, when we get to figure eight, measure 78, this um, syncopation that occurs against the triplet in the soprano and alto part is like we're coming out of a nap. It's like waking up from a nightmare. Like, and you come up above water, and you're in the heat of battle all of a sudden again. So Scott, why don't you why don't you conduct make no party? We'll sing again. Sixty six with Zach playing. Make no party. It's like a, a, this, you know, nightmarish moment where you can imagine just like this <clears throat> dead where they lie away from the hearses, piles of bodies all around you. It's the most macabre sort of thing that happens. And then, of course, what happens on the downbeat of 85? What's the most important thing that happens on the downbeat of 85? 
Besides every yes, every Emma, exactly right. What percussion? The cymbal. And what? Um, the bass drum. Right. Those two have not played in a little while. And they have not played a percussion. No, they right, not have. at all. I mean, that is a bass drum and a cymbal crash hit smash that should shake your insides loose. That you know that. That feeling inside your body when you like stand next to a subwoofer, yeah. that's that's what it should feel like. Just like your stomach's dropping out in that moment. So strong you thump. Oh terrible thump bop 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 bop. And look at what look at the uh, musical alliteration he creates in 87. So strong you thump of terrible drums. What are the drums doing? So, so loud, and then who comes in? The organ. Yep. So loud, your bugles blow. And Zach, will you play the um, accompaniment 88, 89? Yes. Just those block uh, chords. Yeah. Ah, back to that feeling of organ of again, right? Yeah. It's just super medieval sounding. Medieval, medieval battles, like crusades, like just heartless. Disgusting violence. Mm -hmm. Then at figure nine, what's the most important thing that happens? Trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. The drums. 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 Oh, yeah, it's a tam tam. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Not, not a tim tam. A tam tam. How do you know a tim tam? Which just has a half note. Which just has a half note. Yeah, yeah. A, solo one for note solo. a tam tam solo. What is yeah. that? It sounds like. I think he's shooting a gun. It's a symbol. No, it's, a, it's like a big gong, isn't it? It's a big yeah. gong. But yeah. the difference between a gong and a tam tam is the attack. The, no? the, the origin of, of the instrument? A tam tam is tuned. Mm -hmm. oh, tam tam is tuned. A gong is not. Um, yeah, what notes is a tam tam yeah, tuned? Yeah, because it's. I don't know. Something. Okay. So it's. Pitch. I think it's tuned so that it has like specific overtones and things like that. Yeah. I don't know if it's tuned to a specific pitch, okay. but that fortissimo smash on bar 90 is the climax of this entire movement. Mm -hmm. So loud. You bugle. It sounds like you know the immolation of the universe. <laughs> the, whole, the whole world is coming unglued in that moment. So Scott, what I want you to work on um, is to to try to change the size of your gesture dependent upon what's called for. And this is going to mean that there are some times when you see forte and you can't conduct big because the next measure is fortissimo mm -hmm. and that has to be more significant. You know, it's everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. Everything in moderation. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys this, mm -hmm. and I'm a huge Von Williams guy. Love him, love him, love him to death. But Von Williams was notorious for over orchestrating. This is a bit much. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, <laughs> a very, much. very big orchestration. Yeah. And things can become muddy really fast. And if there's any criticism of Von Williams, the, the composer, it was simply that um, in his earlier pieces, and this is sort of the mid, mid part of his output, uh, he tends to over-orchestrate a lot, which means you as the conductor has to find um, ways in which to pull back what's supposed to happen. You know, you'll see, like at, um, uh, there's some places where he's asking the choir to sing piano, and look at the whole texture. Uh, like, we, we, were, we were talking about that. Yeah, like, where's one of those places? Let's see. Oh, over the, track of, over the traffic of cities. This is bar 41, 42. Yep. Over the rumble of wheels in the streets. Every single damn or instrument in the orchestra is playing. And he expects this choir to sing piano. It's still even at an orchestral piano. It's just not really going to happen. 
you have to ask the choir to sing out there, and you have to have the orchestra play down. I, that's, we were talking about this and wondering why he had them at um, Fortissimo 39, and then the men at piano. Why? Yeah, it, I appreciate you bringing this point out, yeah. it, but it, it, it seems like, to a certain extent, you're not supposed to hear the choir because the traffic's too loud. Yeah. Mm, cool. That's a great interpretation. Yeah, yeah. I've never even thought about that before. That's, that's so good. That's great. That's cool, yeah. And it's frantic too. Like if you're going to the of cities, over the traffic of cities. Over the rubble of the streets, our beds break bread for the sleep is dead in the houses. You know, it's it's like the, the barn's on fire and you're trying to get everybody out. It's just, it can't possibly be understood. No sleep is sleep in those beds, no bargain is bargains by day. Would they continue? It's a good point, Scott. Yeah, yeah so, so fight, fight, fight to have dynamic contrast in what you're showing. Your, your tempi are right on, by the way. We need to warm up. Okay, good. Who wants to go next? Thank you. Oh, Scott, don't forget the symbol crash in bar 38.